Today I thought we head out for some mule deer and some whitetail because those are pretty much my favorite species to hunt on Call of the Wild. Well, first off, I am so excited about having the new power of the 223 coming out soon. And in this case here, we'd be able to absolutely smoke this bobcat at 350 yards. Right now, we're going to see what we can do with the AR-223 as is, and that is before the buff happens. 350 yards is a pretty good ways, but it's definitely doable. All right, well, we did in fact hit him twice. And there's a buck out there as well. I highly doubt that's gonna take him down, but. What is with our shots going super high here? What in the heck's go Oh, that buck is hit, that buck is actually hit. Um, But yeah, those shots went super high when in reality, we should be actually getting some bullet drop. 350 and we're zero for 320. We should be definitely dropping a good six inches to almost a foot. And instead, we're actually getting some bullet rays. All right, let's say we try this one more time here, shall we? We got another bobcat out here at 200 yards. This time we'll zero in for 160. There's no reason we should shoot high. Soundered him perfectly. But look at how far that thing's going to go. The percentage finally started dropping, but it's still running and something just took off over there. I don't exactly know what that was, but to me, it looked like it may have been a decent muley buck. But yeah, what I'm imagining is that when we get the new power of the 223, that shot there would absolutely drop that bobcat on the spot with one shot. And we got a decent sized bighorn coming in out here about 250 yards out right there. So that is what the AR-223 is going to be doing to the Bobcat and the Coyotes in the very near future. Holy! Whitetail! 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 Those are all does. That's not a doe. Woo! Second shot hit. Third shot absolutely smoked him. There's a one trivial there. I think we'll let him be for now. Hold up, there's more, there's more, there's more. Those, 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 those are all those down there. And since there's no zone for, well, there's a bobcat zone, but I don't really care about that. Like, let's be real. That'll take them down. That will surely take them down. All right, uh, we'll grab that big horn in a little bit. Right now, we're gonna stay up here for now. That is our buck. Got him on the run, spine shot, second shot, got him in the neck. And that's a 150. There's two more of them. Doe and doe. And then there should be maybe one more over here. Yep, and doe. All right, so our Mexican bobcat should be piled up right over here somewhere. Yep, right there. And let's see how the 223 did there. Lever and stomach shot, but just barely got enough penetration to get it. Then we also have our bighorn sheep piled up down here as well, which we're gonna go over and pick them up right now. One taken off down there. <gasps> Big buck! Holy, that's a huge freaking buck. Oh my God, that's a giant. There we go. That's what we're after, guys. That is what we're after. Oh, and we messed up the shot. And you know, honestly, I feel like it probably would have been even better if we would have just missed that thing. But there's our big horn, nice left lung liver and stomach shot. We did take the shot with a seven millimeter as well. There's a doe there. Another buck there and the other buck went over that ridge. All right, so our big buck was right over here, just going over the top of this ridge and we took the shot right down here somewhere uh, maybe he was over here more there's some blood no organs hit 
You know, we actually never did find that buck. I lost blood and I lost tracks. I have no clue where that buck went. Holy, that's actually a dime potential level four bighorn sheep, 155 to 177. That is a massive, massive bighorn. Now he's out there at 180 yards and he's at a very interesting angle, which I don't feel. What is that sound? Oh, rabbits. Um, but I don't feel super comfortable taking this angle of a shot here. However, there's another one right below it as well, and that looks almost just as big. Um, what we might try and do is double up here. Once he spins his head around, we could take the shot. Just like that, right there. Perfect. We actually may have even doubled up there. All right, let's see if we can't get lucky enough to find our big horn. There's one piled up right, uh, well, huh. Uh, would you look at that? I guess we did get both of them. Here's the second one we got on the run, 179 yard intestine, liver, stomach shot, 127. And here's the big one, the big level four. It's going to be a 161 gold. Wow, he just missed diamond by three points. Got him as he turned around there, got shoulder and lung, 180 yards out. But look at that ram. What a massive ram. I mean, I've gotten fives that aren't even this big. That's how big this thing is right there. That's a lot better. We got a big muley out there at about 400 yards. We're gonna bust out the seven millimeter for this because we need a lot of penetration and knockdown power. And I think we're probably gonna have to crouch down. Holy, what a shot. What a shot. We dropped him. Absolutely money shot. Over 400 yards and we may have pulled off a heart shot. We just may have. Wow. All right, our buck is piled up right here. In fact, there he lays right there. Shot looks pretty promising to me and let's pick him up. Next shot, 419 yards. Right to the neck and a 241 muley buck. Holy, just when I thought we're probably not going to find another massive buck, we spotted this guy. Look at the size of that rack. We're talking 250 plus on this buck out there at about 220 yards right below us here. And we spotted him just at the last light. All right, so he's actually walking up the hill right there. And I think we're probably going to take the shot with the AR 308 here as he's gonna be walking pretty close and it's gonna be almost directly underneath us. According to the time here, he should be just about done drinking. So any second now, he's gonna wander off and we're gonna to have to get ready to take the shot. And I feel like in this case here, the AR-308 is definitely gonna come in handy because once he starts trotting, we're gonna to need to take some quick shots and they need to be precise. Right now he's in the brush there. We just don't quite have a good enough angle for a shot opportunity. But any second, he's going to start moving, and that is going to be our opportunity for the shot. He smoked. I was going to put another one into him, but I saw the shot was so perfect, there really was no need to. And we got him down right there. This would have been a perfect opportunity to have the AR-308, which is what we do have. But as you can see here, it's really wide open hill. So had we not made a perfect shot, he could have ran over here and we could have just emptied out, emptied out the whole entire magazine on him. And we definitely would have had him. Let's just say that. We definitely would have had him. In fact, there's another buck right there. And there's a doe in there as well. But just so you can see, 
This is a perfect situation to have the AR-308. And I believe he... It's gonna go down. Holy. Wow. That is a tough shot. Tough shot indeed. But I do believe we got him. Oh, actually maybe we didn't get him just yet, but we definitely got this big buck. We certainly got him. Yeah, he was sitting right here, right behind this thick brush and we could not quite get a shot. So we waited till he was done, stepped out. We smoked him right here. He ran over this way. Got some more really good blood right here. Look at that. That is some excellent blood right there. Ran down through here and our buck is piled up right here. Here we go, guys. Massive muley buck is down. It's gonna be a 255 gold and our shot was money. 200 yard, perfect double lung shot. Just smoked that massive buck. But with that, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Yep, that's what it's all about right there. One of my favorite animals to hunt.